Hey guys, so we're going to attempt to get this working because someone asked me to. And this seems to be more of a complete package than the next version. We're going to close this out. This is a DAW, so uh, a digital audio workstation. I hope that's what it's called. And the first thing I'm going to try to do is we're going to try to open this up with wine. Normal wine, just to see if it functions. Close this down. I agree. Uh, sure. Hey, look at that. It installs, but will it start up? That's the main concern because installing things can be super easy. Like that other version, sure, the installation starts with Lutris, but unfortunately, it needs Edge Web View Times thing and uh, it doesn't exactly work out too well. So hopefully, this one ends up being a little bit better. I don't have a membership with it or anything. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I was asked to do this in a comment. I might put the comment in the video itself if I could find it. If not, then I didn't try. <laughs> but the fact that it's installing, you know, it makes me a bit happy. Oh, no, not you. Why does this need you? Why are you a thing that needs to be done? Stop it. No one wants you. Go away. Go. This could take a while. I'm going to see if this finishes. Okay, so the whole web things view did not work, but uh, bypassed it. And let's launch the application. Let's see if it launches. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, that's doing its thing. We need to do wine config. Because for some reason, oh, it's just, it has a detection. So it's not possible to use it. Hey, but look, that's installing. Where did it install to? Oh, did it actually finish installing? All right, we need to go here. Let's go down to wine. And it's booting up now that it's got the web views installed. All right, so it totally crashed my desktop environment the first time. Uh, input device is this one. You know what? No, we're going to go with the webcam because I don't want it to steal anything from me. Because these DAWs are able to do that. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, hit OK, and next, and it crashes again. We're going to open you back up. I'm going to hope for the best here. Because now that we have it all set up, we should hopefully just be able to get it to work. Next, next. Please select the mini. I don't have any. Uh, sure. No. Okay. So the dot is open. It works. Wow, we did a thing. So I don't know what to do next. I've never used anything like this. All I know is that this works. Cakewalk Sonar works. Uh, to get it to work, though, I had to download the standalone web view installer. Please remember that standalone web view installer. OK, now I'm not sure if the VSTs work or not. I don't really have a way to test that out because I don't have any of them or I don't own any of them. Uh, but if we go to file and we hit new and we name it this and hit OK, is it going to create the UI? It's going to ask us to install the wine gecko. We're going to wait, of course. And holy snap, look at that. We're going to take a picture of that. All right. So it does install and it does work. All right interesting now it is your job as the person who knows how to utilize this software to jump in install it and tell me how much it works i'll be expecting your comment okay so uh if you've never gotten this to install and i just did it for the first time yay by the way if you're noticing my blur my shell is a little bit screwed up you're right it is and that's a common issue you just re-enable it and it looks pretty again anyway Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like button, do not forget to subscribe. 
and I don't really like getting applications like this to work, I'm going to be honest with you, but this looks actually kind of professional looking. Bye everybody.